In this video, we'll discuss about ODUK overhead frame and bytes used in OTN network. OTU that is, optical transport unit frame, is a data structure that an OTN terminal will use to transport its data to the outside world. As we know, OTN frame is a 4 byte row by 4080 byte column structure. In 4 row and 16 column contains overheard bytes. The first 7 bytes within the frame contain frame alignment signal. The next bytes 8 to 14 are used for OTUK overhead. With that, in row 1 to 4 and columns 3825 to 4080 comma dot bytes used to transport OTUK FEC. The ODUK overhead is transmitted in row 2 to 4 and columns 1 to 14. The OPUK overhead is transmitted in rows 1 to 4 and columns 15 and 16. The remaining bytes built the payload area. Do you know what does K means here? Like ODUK, ODUK, OPUK. OTU frames, whether we are talking about OTU1, OTU2, OTU3, or OTU4, all have the same size, and therefore, each frame has exactly 16,320 bytes, which are same for all. That's why, generally when we talk about frame, we ref that as K. Let's talk about OTUK frame. OTUK frame contains different labels, as frame alignment overheard, OTUK overhead, and FEC. Frame alignment overhead, occupies, first 7 bytes, and having 2 parts. First 6 bytes, occupies with, framing alignment signal field, and, 7th byte, with, multi-framing alignment signal field. In FAS, first 3 bytes, are OA1 bytes, each have a, fixed value of, 11110110. The remaining 3 bytes, are OA2 bytes, and each has a fixed value of, 00101000. The purpose of the, FAS bytes is, it will know, receiving NE, as it is receiving the, first bytes of a new frame. Receiving node, will rely on these bytes, to acquire and maintain, alignment and synchronization with the incoming stream of frames. If it's repeatedly fails, to maintain framing alignment, with incoming frames, it will declare, loss of frame, defect condition. Multi-frame alignment signal byte, resides immediately after, the FAS bytes. Unlike the FAS bytes, the MFAS bytes, value is not fixed. Source node, will transmit OTUK frames, in groups of multi-frames. Each of these multi-frames, consists of 256, consecutive frames. Whenever a source node, transmits the first frame, it will designate, this is the first frame, of multi-frame, by setting its field to, 0 by 0 0. Next frame, it will set to, 0 by 0 1, and so on, until it reaches, the value, 0 xff, that is 255, in decimal format. Main purpose, of this byte, in binary counter, it shows the phase, of the, current frame, within the, 256 multiframe. It's an important byte, for a receiving terminal to keep track, because other data, such as the trail trace identifier message, that is transmitted, via some of the other overhead bytes, across multiple ATUK frames. Next field is, FEC, that is, forward error correction, that briefly explained, in another video. You can find, that video link, in description, and also in playlist. Rest of OTUK overhead fields, consist of 3 fields, for a total of 7 bytes. Which are, 3 bytes, for section monitoring, 2 bytes, for GCC0, and 2 bytes, for reserved purpose. Section monitoring includes TTI in 8th bytes and BIP8 in 9th byte and multiple section monitoring bits in 10th byte. 
TTI that is, Trail Trace Identifier, it's similar to, SDH Path Trace, for connectivity fault detection. This byte field, carries the 64-byte, section monitoring, Trail Trace Identifier message. Since there is only, one TTI byte, within each frame, the OTN transmitter, will transmit, 64 OTUK frames, to send the, full 64-byte, Trail Trace Identifier message. It's include, 16 frames for, source access point identifier, and next 16 frames, for destination access point, identifier, rest 32 frames, are for operator specific. BIP8, is bit interleaved priority 8, bytes, it's used for, error detection. The source node, will perform a BIP8 calculation, over the entire OPUK frame. Afterward, insert the results of this, BIP8 calculation, into the sectoring monitoring BIP8 byte, field of the outbound, OTUK frame. Finally, the remote node, will use this BIP8 calculation, to check for, bit errors, during transmission. There are more, section monitoring bits, on 10th bytes, which consists, 4 bits for BEI and BIAE, 1 bit for BDI, 1 bit for IAE and 2 bits are reserved. BEI is, backward error indicator, and BIAE is, backward incoming alignment error. The purpose of BEI, to provide feedback on the number, of BIP8 errors, that the near end node is detecting, within its incoming data stream. The purpose of BIAE, to permit the, source node alert, from the remote node, to declaring the, frame alignment defect condition. BDI is, backward defect indicator. The purpose of the BDI bit, is to permit the source node, to alert the remote node, that local node, is declaring a service affecting defect. Source node, will set this bit field to, 0, or, 1, depending upon the condition. IAE is, incoming alignment error. The purpose of IAE is to, sent indication downstream, to inform the receiving node, that a framing alignment error, was detected on the incoming signal. Source node, will set this bit field, to 0, or, 1, depending upon the condition. GCC0 is, general communication channel. The GCC0, is a general communications channel, available to the system designer, manufacturer, for proprietary communication. This channel is similar, to the DCC, data communication channels, in SDH.